So we are working on this 2019 Ram Rebel. We've already done one side, and uh, I'll show you guys a little shot of that here in a second. We already took some pictures, but we are doing a Total Chaos upper control arm and some Fox 2.0, uh, sorry, 2.5s with uh, DSC adjusters. And um, so far, so smooth. First side took us a little bit because they were just over torqued and whatnot. So, uh, give you guys a little sneak peek down here what's going on. And uh, you see the Raptor back there. So, uh, here we go. So, here's the Total Chaos upper control arm. And then here is the Fox 2.5 with DSC adjuster. Yeah, it's just hanging down there right now. But, got the adjusters on there. Pretty much just gotta throw the upper control arm back in spot. Button up here. Button up the end link. And torque her down and she's good. Can I switch? So we're just doing a time lapse video for this so that way it doesn't take a million fucking hours. So far on the first side we took about an hour, hour and a half, uh, drinking beers in between. But the second side right here is taking us about 30 minutes to get everything off and get everything as far as you guys saw. So with that being said, here's the rest of the time lapse. So we finished, well Josh finished, so uh, he's under, underneath right now, torquing everything down now that there's weight on the vehicle, but she looking sexy. So total chaos upper control arm and the Fox 2.5 with DSC. Gotta get fancy on that shit. But uh, yeah, it's all installed, torquing everything down, make sure everything's super, super dope. But I got a surprise, which wasn't expecting. Uh, got my k and intake system. So we're gonna install that. All right, guys, this is the last part of the video. <sighs> when I did the install of my k &N air filter on my Raptor, I didn't press record or something, or it didn't record. Fucking iPhone problems, I swear. But anyway, um, got her installed. She sounds pretty good, and uh, she looks good. So it's the... Um, 77 series from k and uh, yeah, I'll flip the camera around so you guys can see it right now. Engine bay is a little dirty, but there we go right there. So, got a new reservoir for coolant, gigantic filter, and then, yeah. My biggest gripe is <clears throat> the mass airflow sensor 
positioning because before on the stock intake it sticks out uh, like this direction so i actually had to pull and it's a little tight which i'm going to go back and trim a little bit of this so that way this has a little less tension on it don't really like that how it's too tight against that corner but i mean other than that the install was very straightforward um instructions are a little vague to say which nut and bolt you need so you have to look at the diagram but other than that wasn't bad so and it sounds good when you're driving she is freaking loud so yeah But if you guys enjoy my videos or enjoy any of the content that I put on my channel, always like and subscribe and you can always hit your notification bell somewhere around wherever. And uh, you guys will be getting more install videos, more videos in general of me off-roading with some friends and stuff every week, every other week. So like and subscribe.